In this series of short movies, I'm describing nine elements of authentic learning environments that could be used in schools, universities or other training and education contexts. In this movie, I'm discussing the first element, authentic context. An authentic context is important in any authentic learning environment because it really sets the scene. It provides a physical or virtual environment that reflects the way the knowledge will be useful in real life. So some of the characteristics of an authentic context are a design to preserve the complexity of the real life setting so you're not simplifying things unduly. You provide the purpose and the motivation for learning. Often students say, well, you know, this, is, this might be something that I need to learn, but why do I need to learn it? Why, when would I use it? So an authentic context can provide that motivation. And it also provides a, a space where ideas can be explored at length in the context of real situations. Um, in the pictures there on that screen, you can see some kinds of um, scenario-based learning environments where a, a little micro world is created within which the student can work. An example I'm going to give is one from um, geography. It's a year, uh, year 10 um, geography um, example. And this one is one that was done for ge the Geography Re Research Action Plan. Now, the students were required to create an action plan a research action plan which they would then put into place and uh, the one that we uh, did in this particular example was one done for Sydney Olympic Park. Um, many people throughout the world know that this is the site of the 2000 Olympics so it has fantastic sporting venues there but it's also the home of endangered species such as the green and golden bell frog there and it has a real focus on sustainability and conservation of energy education now they have a, an excursion program and they approached us to create for them a more authentic way to incorporate the excursion activities uh, and we did that within the context of geography. So it starts, the, the, the authentic context is created by having a, a short um, uh, animated cartoon where the scene is set for a real problem that's occurring in Sydney Olympic Park. Uh, in the first picture there on the bottom, you can see that there's an infestation of, of pests and vermin from left from rubbish that's been left lying around. Uh, in the second scenario, a family goes to have a picnic and the, the ponds are really smelly, so they have to go somewhere else. In the third one, uh, there's mosquitoes which are rife and, you know, uh, causing enormous problems for the residents that live nearby. And in the last scene, the CEO of the park speaks to members of her staff and she says, we've got real problems in this park, we need solutions, we need experts to come and assess the situation for us and look at our water management strategies. So in fact then that letter is drafted and that is the letter that goes to the experts who are in fact the Year 10 Geography students. So that, that sets the scene. It provides a really authentic context for the work that they do prior to and after the ex and during and after the excursion. The second example is one uh, by Deal and her colleagues in 2010, where she described um, a, a learning environment for hospitality and tourism students called the Appalachian Growers Fair where the students planned and marketed and they conducted and then evaluated a, an actual festival that was held on a, a very old property there that was a hundred the house was a hundred years old and not only did they conduct the the fair but it enabled them to showcase local produce and people brought different handmade items there was music it was a, a really great day and the funds from that were uh, put towards a, a, a setting up a museum at the site. Uh, but this was done within the context of hospitality uh, education and it was done by a group of students. 
So just finally, when you're designing an authentic learning environment, perhaps some questions to ask about your, your context. Does the context of the course represent the kind of setting where the skill and knowledge will be applied? And secondly, is the pathway that students take through the learning environment flexible so that students are able to really move around at will? It's not a very structured kind of environment. So the next element we will go on to is the second one, the having an authentic task. 